Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. It is actually a sunny day out here today, which is kind of shocking and surprising. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, we've had a lot, a lot of rain. A lot of rain off of Helene. But, um, which we actually needed. It wasn't like we got, like, massive rains like poor Tennessee and stuff um, in North Carolina. Uh, everybody in those places have my sincerest thoughts and prayers going out to you. Um, it's terrible, terrible what happened. Um, I'm glad I checked on everybody. Um, Amy, I talked to Amy, the Orchid Whisperer. She said that uh, she ain't seen things like that, you know, all her life. Uh, it's just crazy for something like that to hit Tennessee. So, yeah, it's terrible crazy there's still a couple people that i haven't heard of um heard from oh well, actually i heard from the one the other one i got one more person i still ain't heard from in uh, south carolina so um, i'm really hopeful everything's okay so but um yeah uh let's get to the orchids um things are happening out here in the milton office gray space as you can see Nelly, beautiful, beautiful Nelly. Sorry about that. Uh, but yep, that is Nelly. Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. Look at how pretty. She's so beautiful. It's so great to see her again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Shirley. Appreciate it so much. Oh my gosh, just, <sighs> just in awe, just in awe. Uh, this spike is opening, but um, it's going that way because, of course, I turned her around. But, yeah, she's got a couple over here that are open. And, of course, you see the spike on Roselia behind there. Doing good and proceeding to open, or extend, actually. And um, beautiful Maui Golden Gate is still here. A uh, little flop down here for some strange odd reason, but yeah, she's. I watered her, so she's not too dry, so I don't know why she flopped down. And then Lillian, Lillian's down here, but uh, and unfortunately, my husband got her, so <laughs> yeah, she gets she gets the brunt because she is hanging way down. But Lillian is still here, and some of her upper buds look better. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful Lillian. Lillian Nakamoto. But yes, the big, big news of stuff is in the other room. So let's go over there, in there, and see what's going on. Alrighty, y'all. We are back, and as soon as we come back, the fire whistle goes off. I'm sorry. <sighs> so annoying. This is what this is what living here has come down to. Um, since they decided to tear up the interstate behind my house and put in three lanes of traffic on each side of the interstate, it's nonstop anymore. I just can't live through this anymore. <sighs> oh, so annoying! It goes off 24 hours a day. So if there's a wreck or something at 3 a.m., that thing goes off. <laughs> really bad when you're sleeping. But anyways. Um, we are back to everything over here underneath the Aglex lights and uh, nothing much is going on under here. Uh, nothing at all really. Um, the spike on Vanda Supatra is not really visible. It's not showing itself as of yet, but it's definitely there and um, it's, it's just incredible that it's... Um, well, actually, it's over there, and I think you can maybe see it through there. Yep. So, it is progressing up, and there's still a few buds on the old spike left. So, it's not doing too bad. That little thing has just been, you know, just <laughs> really just blooming crazy this year. Um, just amazing at how uh, spectacular she's been. Um, the Hoya Multiflora is getting new peduncles on her new growth. As you can see, there's even one back there. Yep. One there, one there. So she's doing really good still. Um, the old ones on the pieces that come down, 
they're not doing anything um, as of yet but um, yeah she's she's doing pretty good up there um, everybody's doing okay the uh, spike on Hannah Papal has progressed up and doing pretty good um, <sighs> <laughs> they don't have to do that. They do it just because it makes me mad. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, all that's going on. Um, she is definitely progressing up there, so hopefully we'll see buds come out pretty soon. Sadly, my infundibellum put out a bloom spike, but the buds shriveled up on it. So... Now, that could have been because of my, I sprayed it with alcohol, or it could have been because of um, bugs. <laughs> you know, I guess you just never know. Never know. Let me see. I'll show you again. I'm sorry. It's hard, just hard for me to hold my arms up there that high for very long. But yeah, they, sadly, they're, they shriveled up. They're kind of not, not looking like much. So, yeah. Anyways, um, sadly, um, this Lulin Blue Jenny, crossed with Yafon Blue Jewel, is starting to show a little going over, little signs of going over. Um, but behind her, the um, beautiful little um, Richard Mueller. Um, is still doing good looking good these guys stay open for quite some time and they keep their beauty for quite a while they're really phenomenal the copper queen um, down here the pink Bellina is progressing her bud out very nicely um, I had lost the spikes on her so I'm glad to see her come back around and she's looking really good this bloom is still hanging here off of this one um, uh, smiley Prince Wilson but um, this one's still looking good and of course you see the bud forming there but yeah she's she's doing pretty good not too shabby at all um, over here of course the um, Phalaenopsis uh, summer rose blue star is keeps progressing her spike and the ones behind it are dying off and that's what she'll do she'll just continue out and keep putting buds on the ends and um but such a such a little cutie just amazing with two nice little spikes on her there um the same thing's happening with the summer love um jeho summer love so she's doing the same thing just keeps putting a bud on the end and a bud on the end and a bud on the end so She'll keep like a few blooms at the end, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, down here, nothing much is happening. These uh, cakeys are still doing pretty good on um, Young Home Fragrance Lover. Uh, this uh, Copper Queen is still here and looking great. Absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, these stick around for a while, and they're just, it's just nice. They're just nice that they, they stay around for weeks. Um, you know, when you don't have anything else really in bloom, they're, they're there. You know, it's, it's just really cool. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, uh, that's basically it on this side. Let's go around and see what's happening over on the other side. Hey, y'all. My channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. They have pots, they have media, they even sell orchids. Use my name, Code Hillbilly, in the code section for a 12% viewer's discount. They also do free shipping in the U.S. So go check them out, y'all. Alrighty, over here on the upper shelf, nothing much happening. Like I said, the uh, multiflora is 
on, on that side basically but you can see that is on those and this one hanging out here is not really doing anything much so um, haven't noticed anything any different with her the um, the Hoya Nunya yellow here has um, continued to do that peduncle but she has put out that new growth which is nice 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 to see really really great to see that um out through here the little um foul deliciosa is dropping some blooms and making some more so it's really just really great that she she too keeps doing that and that is her right there the beautiful silver leafed um, don't think anything else is happening down through here. Um, I do, I have the, um, the table out here with some plants sitting on them. And I did move the, um, Firestar Blina out here, um, just for the time being. But, yeah, she's still in bloom, which is nice. But let me move this table out of the way, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, over here, underneath of the, um, Grow Star, um, nothing much is going on. These last two blooms on, um, Cornelia Calipolana are still hanging here, definitely showing some signs of going over. Um, but they have lasted a pretty good while too. Just really, she's really reflexed her, uh, her petals. Watch me, I can't even talk. <laughs> Re reflexed her petals on the top, but yeah, not too bad. Um, they're getting ready to go over those, so yeah. Um, sadly, the, um, Richard Mueller over here though has went over the, uh, Golden Tang. So that one's pretty well done for the time being. Um, up there, and I'm probably going to have to put a thing up and decrease her down a little bit. Puppy Love has two spikes. Now, I don't know if you can see both sets as of yet. I don't think, I don't think the one's up to where you can see it. But she's got two, two different sets of spikes. But you can see the ones right there definitely growing closer to the light so I'm definitely gonna have to add a thing in there and bring her down a little bit because I don't want them to burn I don't want them to get too yellow looking or too uh being too close to the yellow looking what's wrong with me <laughs> I don't want them to get too close to the light and burn I want them to get you know plenty of light but I don't want them to burn so over here on the top shelf uh, nothing's going on right through here, but I will bring you back up to something on the end. So we'll go through over that in just a minute. But um, basically, on these shelves, nothing's changing. Nothing's going on. Um, haven't noticed anything happening, which I wished I would. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, nothing's going on on there. But over here, the biggest biggest news and I gotta get a stance in here to show you I gotta get my stance ready um, are you ready this is amazing you guys amazing da, 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 da. Ah! there she is <laughs> beautiful 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 Amphion cherry pie oh Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Isn't she just amazing? That plant has just had me at the word go. <laughs> Ever since she had buds up, I just freaked out constantly watching, waiting, and making sure that she was going to bloom. <laughs> just beautiful. First time bloom. Isn't that something? Amphion cherry pie. Mm amazing absolutely amazing oh, beautiful beautiful um she does have a scent i did notice it this morning 
But um, I can't really say what it is, what it smells like, but oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, we still have the Canama Azazure Sky here. Also, the beautiful, beautiful. Um, her and her velvety lip. She's amazing, too. I think part of my, what I might have been smelling was her. <laughs> um, Canama's Azer Sky is pretty scented, pretty nicely. So, um, down here, nothing much going on. The uh, white Richard Mueller is really taken off. Uh, three gross. She's got that one there, that one there, and that one there. So, she is really... Um, yeah, just really showing us who she is and what she's made of. <laughs> Richard Mueller's are so vigorous. Um, down here, again, still have not noticed a thing happening. So, I'm still waiting. We got a couple spikes on the dendrobiums there. Um, I didn't pull it out, but um, yeah, we'll see. Um... <clears throat> And I do actually, I have, um, there is a turned, um, dendrobium, uh, Cesar yellow around, uh, so she's kind of right there doing good, but I do have a couple of dendrobiums that I moved, um, that are in bud, but we, we won't go over them. We, we've seen them the last couple weeks and they're still progressing, so they're not in bloom yet, so I won't, I won't cover them this time, but. Alrighty, over here, nothing much going on, sadly. Um, nothing going on over here. Uh, everybody's kind of just doing their grow thing. Um, down here, nothing either is going on. Um, yeah, even dittery is done. Um, nothing's, nothing's really happening on this shelf. Um, so, not really much to cover. Um, down here on this shelf, um, the beautiful, um, what is it, something, something Apollo, <laughs> golden, oh, it's stuck on a root, uh. <laughs> that is a surefire way to, um, break a spike, uh, I just dropped it right in that bucket of water. Uh, luckily, it was just water. Yeah, see, it was st stuck on a root. Uh, Brassa Catlia, Golden Glory, Apollo. Dang it, Paula. I just dropped it right in there, but that's okay. It didn't hurt a thing. Luckily, the spike's still fine. <laughs> oh, couldn't believe I did that. That's awful. Yep, dropped her right in there. But I can't wait to see that. That is a first time bloom on her so I'm super excited about that but nothing else really is going on in there and the babies um, down here are all doing okay and looking good so basically that's it um, let's go back over here to Amphion Cherry Pie to say our goodbyes for this week alrighty there we are now um yeah, the there's not a whole lot going on right now. Um, currently, once the lights start switching back, the um, things will change. We'll start getting some more fall bloomers coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, again, if you can share, I'd appreciate it. If you could give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you could give me a super thanks, I would definitely appreciate it. And um, if you could leave me a comment, that would be awesome. Uh, just to say hi would be terrific, but if you want to talk orchids, leave it in the comments, and I'll be glad to chat you up. <laughs> so with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful, wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me, and bye for now, y'all, till we meet again. <laughs>